Hello everyone, Archana is here. Welcome to the 10th session of presentation in English. In today's session, let us deal with the poem If I Was a Tree, written by Moodnakudu Chinnaswami. About the poet, Chinnaswami is a popular Kannada poet. Poetry is his passion. So he has also written several works in other genre of literature. His interest range from culture and theater to social work. He is widely translated into many Indian languages apart from English, Spanish and Hebrew. This particular poem is written in Kannada. The name of the poem is Nanandu Maravagiddari and this poem is translated by Rowena Hill. She has translated several literary works in Indian languages into English and Spanish. Rowena Hill was born in England in 1938 and went to school in New Zealand. She attended universities in New Zealand, Italy and India. That is University of Mysuru. If I Was a Tree exposes the complex evil caste system in Indian society. Here the poet wishes that he would be happy born as a tree instead of a human. For mankind practices even now this inhuman discrimination based on caste. In contrast, the poet finds recourse with nature which he thinks does not discriminate against any creature of size, color, gender or habitat. Moodnakadu Chinnaswamy wished to be a tree because unlike a human born into a low caste family, a tree does not face any discrimination or an act of defilement. Defile is impurity. Okay? So the poem places before the readers an age-old custom of discrimination practiced in India. The poem satirizes the idea of defilement and purification, that is impure and purification. So the unasked but implied question in the poem is about the defilement of the mind, the impurity of the mind. The poem implies that the ones who practice caste system go against God's design. In the different creation of God, there is not a single creature that is considered superior to other creations. Come, let's deal with the poem. If I was a tree, the bird wouldn't ask me before it built its nest what cast I am. So here the poem mock or criticize the idea of degradation and purification. So in the different creations of God, there is not a single creature that is considered superior to other creations, right? As I have told you initially. So here, Chidna Swami has written on the evils of untouchability in this poem. So the feeling of anger and detect dejectedness is expressed through a young boy who feels that if he had been a tree he could have uh, birds built its nest without asking him which caste he was so here the poet is telling that if he was a tree the bird definitely wouldn't have asked him which caste he belonged to. So that by asking the caste of a tree, the bird will not build its nest. When sunlight embraced me, my shadow wouldn't feel defiled. My friendship with the cool breeze and the leaves would be sweet. So it is clear from the poem that the speaker has suffered the bane of discrimination in human society. His
statement that if he were a tree, no bird would ask him what caste he was. Makes it clear that the speaker is made to feel ashamed of his caste repeatedly. So when he states that the shadow of the tree which is formed on the ground when the sunlight falls on it wouldn't feel defiled, wouldn't feel dirty, wouldn't feel impure. It is clear that people keep him at a distance and do not allow even his shadow to come in their way as he and his shadow are considered impure because he belongs to the lower caste. So sun would have embraced him and his friendship with the breeze and leaves would have been cool and pleasant. So the shadow of the tree which is formed on the ground when the sunlight falls on it wouldn't feel impure. Sunlight have no rules that its rays should not touch the discriminated people or so and so. Raindrops wouldn't turn back. Take me for a dog eater when I branch out further from my roots Mother Earth wouldn't flee shouting for a bath. So the boy states that if he had been a tree, if he had been a tree, the rain would not turn its back because he was an untouchable and the mother earth would not have run to take bath because his roots were touching hers. Through this, the boy states the attitude of the people towards him and how hurt he was. So, when he talks about the sweet friendship with the cool breeze and leaves, it is crystal clear that in society not many extend to him their hands of friendship. When, how, average that raindrops wouldn't turn back from him considering him a dog eater. So it is understandable that people from whom he hoped for sustenance just as a tree gets its sustenance from water. So he got only abuse and rejection. So when he writes that Mother Earth wouldn't flee from him with the fear of getting defiled, the picture of upper caste people showing him away forms in the imagination of the readers. So the phrase branching out makes it clear that the hopes and aspiration of the lower caste people are cured and they are not allowed to make of their potential. The sacred cow would scrape her body on my bark, scratching wherever it itched, and three thousand gods sheltering inside her would touch me. Here poet also states that as a tree, he would allow the cows to scratch its skin against the rough surface of the bark. And in turn, he would get blessings from the thousand gods and goddesses who were supposed to be residing in the cow's stomach. Through the image of the sacred cow coming to the tree and giving the tree the joy of being touched by the 300,000 gods sheltering inside her, the speaker shows that entry to sacred places is denied to him. So here, how the discriminated people are not allowed to enter the sacred places also says that higher 
class people worship cows as divine but fail to see divinity in their fellow human beings so it could be a mockery of the upper caste people who worship thousands of gods but have no respect for their brethren that is fellow human being who does at the end hacked into pieces of dry wood burning in the holy fire i might be made pure or becoming the beer for a sinless body be born on the shoulders of four good men so here finally when the speaker says that if he is a tree he would have the privilege of being burnt in the holy fire or becoming the beer beer is it but a moveable frame on which a dead body is kept it's nothing but a coffin okay so it happens here so it is clear that as a human being he knows that he would be shunned even after death and wouldn't be allowed a decent death thus as a human being in life and death he would be condemned but as a tree he would live a life of dignity and joy so finally if the poet were a tree he would live a life of dignity and joy instead of being born as a human being in a society which practices discrimination it is better to be born as a tree or any other creature in nature so as in nature there is no discrimination so what happened here so how the hopes and the aspirations of poor people are curbed or clutched so here the boy also yearns to be purified in some way or the other and states his wish that if he had been a tree he would have been broken into pieces and would have been used for some holy rituals or would have been used to burn a sinless person or would have been used to carry the body of the dead by touching the shoulders of four men so he calls the four men as good because only those people are allowed to carry all the bodies of all the caste people thus the speaker makes it clear that instead of being born as a human being in a society where we can see the practice of discrimination it is better to be born as a tree or any other creature in this nature so there is no discrimination in the nature so, so the poem if i was a tree is written on the reality sadness of the world as well as shows the anger on other and from the life so in the poem a boy is having the desire to become a tree he said that that is this way he would be peaceful tree and even let the birds to make the nest on it so in this way by becoming the tree he would be happy along the pleasant leaves even the rain and earth have a good relation with him and also he could have helped the cow to scratch the back and this way he can get the blessings easily so in short the boy desires to become a tree so that he could not be disturbed by the other evils and can help and live in peace even the broken pieces of wood would also be the great help so friends here we have winded up the poem let us conclude the poem chinna swami the poet vents out his sufferings disappointments 
uh, and frustrations through this poem so if i was a tree he in this poem he protest against this cruel society that is social system the caste system has troubled fellow humans by separating them and creating barriers for centuries living in today's world education empowers us so the constitution forbids any one from practicing discrimination based on caste so nevertheless the complex network of politics bureaucracy and stereotyped mindsets seldom allows us to eradicate it completely so the poet wanted to be born a tree as the tree wouldn't be asked what caste it belonged before it built its nest here it means birds so when the sunlight embraced the tree the shadow wouldn't feel defiled wouldn't feel impure nature would accept without any discrimination so the tree's friendship with the cool breeze and the leaves would be sweet the raindrops wouldn't withdraw taking him for a dog eater which is a very bad treatment to a fellow human here dog eater is nothing but dirty consider as a dirty a person okay so here the mother earth wouldn't flee shouting for a bath when the tree spread its branches he ironically says that the sacred cow would scrape her body on the bark of the tree so thousands of gods sheltering inside her body would touch the tree without any hesitation here the poet hopes that a tree hacked into pieces or made into pieces of dry wood uh, will still be pure burning in the holy pyre so as a tree he can still become pure or as pieces of wood he would do a sacred job of carrying a sinless body as a bier born uh, by four good men so the poem brings out the concepts of defilement and purification through the imagery of tree and the holy cow the poem is satirical of inhuman caste system so it attempts to convey that defilement and purification are unethical and prejudiced so the poem concludes stressing that if nature makes no discrimination there shall be no such practice in human society too so all are equally blessed with rights and privileges by this i would like to end the poem so here we have pointed up the poem a uh, home assignment answer the following questions in a paragraph first question why does the speaker want to be a tree second question how does the speaker view his friendship with cool breeze and leaves third question why does the mother earth not flee the speaker and the fourth question how do the life forces sunlight and the cool breeze enforce nature's idea of equality thank you students